Um, we have our first artist. His name is Kid Poet. Woo! Woo! The first piece is entitled Excerpts from Her Diary. The second is called Live. Everybody, give it up for Kid Poet. What's going on, y'all? September 1st, 1997. She doesn't look like mommy anymore. She just sits there on the bed watching television until he gives us something to do. Today, daddy wasn't happy with the home fries and bacon and mommy made them for breakfast. He just took one bite and threw the plate at her face. And then on her face, the plate broke. She bled and cried against the kitchen sink that she was about to stop the dishes, but he insisted on giving her blows to anywhere his fist decided to go. I begged him to stop. But mommy looks like she's going to die soon. But he reached back and slapped me as hard as the things he could. I wanted to cry out for help, but I was too weak. And I knew mommy was too weak to help me until later. July 28, 2010. Why must I provoke him? I deserve it. I know how much he hates it when I wear short shorts, but it was hot. When he came home from work, he dragged me up the steps from my ponytail and into the house. He picked me up on my legs and threw me on the bed and questioned, where the fuck is your clothes? Now some other dude's staring at you. He smacked me across my face and pulled down my pants and pulled down his pants as he continued to have his way. See, she feels the most pain by the man she calls daddy. Hangs her head in shame because, well, because he tells her to. He verbally took her self-esteem and when it got to an all-time low, made her believe that she deserves his fists upside her head. But he's not a man. He's a coward. Strikes upon her to feel power. Afraid that she'll leave, he expresses his insecurities and marks of brutality upon her once flawless complexion. Guess he never thought he gained such a beauty. Reality is, he doesn't deserve such a beauty. See, there's a strong chance when she goes out, someone will take her interest off of him. His conversation lacks him salt in his own self-pity, but occasionally, he'll buy her something nice, something expensive. Then he'll take her out after she'll pass on your foundation to cover up the bruises. You ask why she said, you see, her father used to do this. That's what her foundation of youth lived. Watching the mama take punches like her father was a heavyweight champ. Round one knockout. Tickets you wish you had it bought. Wish she had fought. But those who received the punches felt more than boxing gloves that this is what she considers to be love. So she stayed. And her daughter became the next victim of self hate. So you'll say, and your daughter will too become the next victim of self hate. Will you break the cycle? This is for a lie. I lie to you. I do it constantly. I can't stop telling you these elaborate lies that I make up for no reason at all than to appear just a tad bit taller to you. Like, remember I said I was different? I lied. <laughs> remember I told you I have a great sense of direction in my personal navigation that you straight to your heart to knock down the walls others built with pain, suffering, and hatred? I lied. Honestly, I just stumbled upon your zipper. I wanted to see it come down. I wanted to hear the sound of your world when around you were right when you said I'm not shit. Like, I just wanted to hit it, take your heart and run with it. But the problem is, you always want to be right. You judge me based on your exes, constantly reading my text messages like I was caught in some lies that gave you the upper hand, but I never raised my hand towards you. So quit with that bullshit like all you the same, because truth be told, you females, the words just suited with the words. Thank you. Thank you.